discuss about the division of polynomials, uh, particularly synthetic division. So, yung long division, hindi na natin i-discuss kasi nga, uh, baka mas malito pa kayo. So, dun tayo mag-focus sa synthetic division. So, say for example, you have 3x cubed plus x squared minus 22x minus 25 divided by x minus 2. So, before that, <clears throat> let us identify first, asan ba yung dividend? So, this is <clears throat> your dividend. Okay, ang tawag dito ay dividend. And, this is uh, represented by P of X. Okay? Next, this one is what you call the divisor. And your divisor is represented as B of X. Okay? Now, ang sagot po sa division is what you call the quotient. And quotient is represented by Q of X. Okay, now, so let us start dividing using synthetic division. Ang first thing to do is take a look at the dividend. Tignan nyo yung dividend. So, the highest exponent here is 3. So, dapat yung, yung exponents nyo ay kompleto. When I say complete, Kung nag start ka sa 3, dapat may raise to 2, raise to 1, at saka constant. So, for this uh, example, for this instance, kompleto ang ating hmm, exponents. Kaya, we can now easily write down all the coefficients. So, here, ang coefficient natin ay 3. Dito ay 1. Here is negative 22. And here is negative 25. Okay? So, that's the first thing to do. Secondly, anong ipang di-divide natin? So, take a look at the divisor. You have x minus 2. Okay. So, x minus 2, equate natin kay 0. So, x will become positive 2. So, siya yung magiging pang divide natin dito. So, 2. In using uh, synthetic division, may ginagamit ako na b m a and then balik lang. So, B meaning bring down. You have to bring down the first coefficient. So, that is 3. And then M meaning multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. So, ilalagay mo sa next column. The next is odd. 1 plus 6 is 7. Then, balik lang tayo kay multiply. 7 times 2 is 14. So, sa kabilang uh, column naman. Negative 22 plus 14 is what? This is negative 8. Okay? The negative 8 times 2 is negative 16. And if you're going to add it, this is negative 41. Okay? Now, how to write down our quotient? So, ang gagawin nyo lang ay ganito. Ang highest exponent dito ay 3. Ang highest exponent sa divisor ay 1. So, 3 minus 1 is 2. So, mag start yung ating quotient sa x raised to 2. Okay? So, x raised to 2 plus, babawas na yun, 7x minus 8. Itong less na to will be your remainder. So, this is your quotient, which is represented by q of x. And this is your remainder, which is R. Okay po. Ayan. Quotient, Q of X, remainder, R. Okay. Let us proceed with our second example. You have 5x raised to 4 <clears throat> plus 2x squared plus 5x plus 1 divided by x plus 1. So, first thing to do is to take a look at the dividend. Ang titignan nyo, kumpleto ba at naka-arrange ba yung ating exponents from highest to lowest? So, since 4 yan, 2, 1, 0, naka-arrange naman from highest to lowest. Ang tanong, kumpleto ba? So, again, when we say complete, uh, kung, nags, kung ang highest exponent mo ay 4, Dapat meron kang raised to 3, raised to 2, raised to 1, and constant. So now, since incomplete siya, dadagdagan natin. So, kung kompletuhin natin, magiging 5x raised to 4 
plus 0x cubed, kasi siya yung nawawala, plus 2x squared, plus 5x, plus 1. Okay? Okay, now, uh, it's already complete. Now, we can write down all the coefficients. So, here, ang coefficient natin ay 5, 0, 2, 5, and positive 1. And then, you go back to the divisor. So, this is x plus 1 equals 0. Now, solve for x. So, x equals negative 1. So, si negative 1 ang ilalagay natin dito. Okay? So, you're going to follow B and A. Bring down, multiply, and add. Okay, so bring down. Then multiply. 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. Then add. 0 plus negative 5 is negative 5. Negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. Then add again, 7. 7 times negative 1 is negative 7. Then add, 5 plus negative 7 is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 3. Then add, you have 4. So these are all the coefficients. So lalagyan na lang natin siya ng ating variables. So again, the highest exponent here is 4. And the highest exponent here is 1. So, all you have to do is subtract them. So, 4 minus 1 is 3. So, magsisimula ang ating exponents sa x raised to 3. So, this is x raised to 3, x raised to 2, x, and then constant. And this will be your remainder. So, lagyan na lang plus sign dyan. So, this is already your quotient. And this is your remainder. Okay. Let's have question number 3. So you have 2x raised to 4 minus 9x cubed plus 9x squared plus 5x minus 1 divided by 2x plus 1. So take a look at the dividend. Kompleto ba siya? Tignan natin. Highest exponent is 4, may 3, may 2, may 1, may is constant. Okay. So all you have to do... Okay, all you have to do is just write down all the coefficients. You have 9, negative 9, 9, 5, and negative 1. Now, ano nga ba ang ating magiging divisor? Take a look at this one. You have 2x plus 1 equals 0. So, first thing to do is you transpose positive 1 to the other side. So, magiging negative 1. But, for this example, you will notice may kasama ng coefficient si x, which is 2. So, we divide both sides by 2. Therefore, your x is negative 1 half. So, negative 1 half. Ayan, may fraction na naman tayo. Okay, again, follow B, M, A. Meaning, bring down, multiply, and on. So, bring down, 2. Multiply. 2 times negative 1 half. Ang ginagawa kong technique dyan, ganito. Dinidivide ko muna by 2, tapos kung anong sagot doon, imumultiply ko kay negative 1. So, ganito. 2, time, uh, 2 divided by 2 is 1. Times negative 1 is negative 1. Okay? Then on, negative 9 plus negative 1 is negative 10. So, again, Negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. Then odd. 9 plus 5 is 14. Now, 14 divided by 2 is 7 times negative 1 is negative 7. Then odd. 5 plus negative 7 is negative 2. In negative 2 divided by negative uh, negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Then this one is 0. So we all have the coefficients. Susunod na lang natin yung ating variables. Highest exponent here is 4. Highest exponent here is 1. So 4 minus 1 is 3. So magkisimula tayo sa x raised to 3. Then x raised to 2. x and then constant. So lagyan na lang to ng sign. Then, remainder mo ay 0. 
Kung zero ang remainder, kahit huwag mo na siyang isulat. Okay. okay, so let us now move on to the remainder and factor theorem. So, sa remainder theorem naman, kaya nga remainder theorem, inaalam lang natin kung ano yung ating remainder when a dividend is divided by our divisor. Now, uh, there are two ways on how to determine the remainder. First is by using substitution method, and the second one is by using synthetic division. So, start muna tayo sa substitution. Okay. Pag substitution ang gagamitin natin, Gamit, uh, punta muna tayo kay divisor. This is x minus 1. So, you equate it to 0. So, x minus 1 equals 0. And then, solve for x. So, x will become 1. Ito po ay nilipat lang sa kabila. So, that will become P of 1. Meaning, lahat ng x natin ay magiging 1. So, 3 times 1 cube plus 8 times 1 squared plus 3 times 1 plus 2. Again, lahat ng x natin ay naging 1. Okay, second, you have to evaluate. Siyempre, unahin mo muna yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, 1 cube, meaning si 1, tatlong beses mong imumultiply sa sarili niya. 1 times 1, that is 1, times 1, still 1. So, 3 times 1. Plus, 8 times 1 squared is 1. Then, 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2. Okay, simplify further. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 8 plus 3 plus 2. So, if you're going to uh, add this, so 3 plus 8 plus 3 plus 2, that's equivalent to 16. So, therefore, our remainder is 16. Okay, so this is by the use of substitution method. Paano naman kapag synthetic? Okay, so let's have synthetic method or synthetic division. So, pag synthetic, aalamin natin kung kompleto ba yung ating exponents and we can see na kompleto siya. So, pag ganun, just write down all the coefficients. So, you have 3, 8, 3, and 2. And then, our divisor will still be 1. So, using yung ginamit kong BMA, bring down, multiply, add. So, bring down 3. Okay, 3 times 1 is 3. 3 plus 3. Uh, 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 times 1 is 11. This is 14. 14 times 1 is 14. 2 plus 14 is 16. So, your final answer is, here is x, 3x squared plus 11x plus 14, and this will be your remainder. So, you will notice, parehas tayo ng nakuwang remainder. Okay po? Okay, let me have another example. But this time, uh, the instruction says, determine whether the divisor is a factor or not. So, papas pa tayo sa factor theorem. Sa factor theorem, uh, interconnected silang dalawa. Kung ang remainder mo ay zero, we can conclude agad na our divisor is a factor of our dividend. Now, kapag hindi zero ang ating remainder, therefore, the divisor is not a factor. Ganun lang po yun kadali. So, let me show you. So, you have x to the fourth plus 3x cubed minus 4x squared. Divided by x plus 4. Aalamin natin kung si x plus 4 ba ay factor ng dividend o hindi. So, ako gagamitin ko na lang yung synthetic division kasi feeling ko mas madali siya. Okay. So, using synthetic division, tignan ko muna kung kompleto ba. So, 4, 3, 2. Wala akong raise to 1. Wala akong constant. So, ikukompleto ko muna siya. So, x raise to 4 plus 3x cubed minus 4x squared plus 0x plus 0. So, 4, 3, 2, 1, constant. Okay? So, now, kompleto na yung ating coefficients. Sulat ko na siya. 1, 3, negative 4, 0, and 0. Now, ano ipang di-divide ko? Bunta ko kay divisor. x plus 4 equals 0. And x is equal to negative 4. So, siya ilalagay ko dito, negative 4. 
So bring down, multiply, add. So bring down 1, then multiply. 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. Then add. 3 plus negative 4 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4. This is 0. 0 times negative 4 is, of course, 0. 0, 0 times negative 4 is 0. Then, 0. Okay po. Therefore, if you're going to write down the, the quotient you have here, so highest exponent is 4, highest exponent i3, ah, sorry, 1, so we start tayo kay x raised to 3, x squared, x constant, and our remainder. Now, ang kailangan lang natin ma-determine is the remainder. Remainder is 0, okay? Therefore, okay, since r is equal to 0, therefore, x plus 4 is a factor. That's it. Ganun lang ang ginagawa sa factor theorem. Kapag 0 ang remainder, ilalagay nyo lang. Therefore, the given divisor is a factor. Kapag naman siya hindi 0, therefore, the given divisor is not a factor. Ganun lang po. So, let me have another example. Determine whether the divisor is a factor or not. So, our dividend here is 5x squared minus 2x plus 1. Our divisor is x plus 2. Again, I'm going to use synthetic division. So, tignan muna natin kung kompleto ba ang ating exponent. So, 2, 1, and then constant. So, kompleto. We can now write down the coefficients. 5, negative 2, positive 1. Anong pang divide natin? Take a look at the divisor. So, this is x plus 2 equals 0. Then, x is negative 2. So, lagay mo nito, negative 2. Using our uh, acronym, BMA, bring down, multiply, or odd. So, bring down 5, multiply, 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Odd, negative 12, then multiply, you have 24, and then 1 plus 24 is 25. If you're going to give or write down the variables, you'll have 5x minus 12, remainder 25. Now, our remainder is 25. So, since r equals 25 or the remainder is 25, therefore, x plus 2 is not a factor. That's it. Yun lang po yung kailangan ipakita pag, kapag factor theorem.